so hello everyone welcome to this new video so in my previous video i had started with the module 1 coulomb's law and we have discussed a few of the problems so those who have not seen that video please go and watch it so in this video i am going to just uh, brush up with some of the important concepts which are going to be very very important uh, the, for the exam point of view okay so we have solved two important problems right in the previous session we have just discussed so now we are going to discuss forces due to several point charges okay forces due to several point charges uh, in the previous video I have, we had discussed only forces between two point charges okay now we are going to discuss the forces bit for, that is from, from one point charge we are going to draw an adjacent number of point charges that is n number of point charges which is connected to a single point charge okay that is from this point charge only we are going to draw n number of point charges and uh, let us see that how the equation would be forming and how these kind of problems should be solved okay forces due to several point charges due to a single point charge okay so here let us consider one single point charge from where we are going to draw several point charges that is from q1 q2 up to qn and from this point charge the we are going to get the adjacent position vectors as well that is we have here qr and q1 so we are we should be writing this as r1 r that is the first position vector similarly we have r2 r and up to r n r okay so this is the structure of forces due to several point charges now let us try to write the equation okay very simple first consider these two charges q r and q 1 so between this uh, the for, for coulomb's force of attraction we already know the equation that is uh, product of charge divided by 1 by 4 pi epsilon 1 by 4 pi epsilon and the magnitude of magnitude of r1 r square into the unit vector r1 this is for q1 and qr okay similarly we should be doing for all these charges okay just add all of them that is first we have considered qr q1 then you consider qr q2 up to qr qn that is if you consider q2 and qr again the product of charges divided by 1 by 4 pi epsilon uh, square of the magnitude into the uh, unit vector r2 r up to q n q r uh, unit vector r n r divided by 4 pi epsilon r magnitude of r n r the whole square okay so in this you can see that in the, all these terms q r divided by 4 pi epsilon or 4 pi epsilon not in free space is common right so take that outside so uh, uh, what are the what and all of the terms are remaining write it as it is that is q1 divided by magnitude of vector r1 r the whole square into unit vector r1 r q2 into uh, same thing up to qn okay so this is the equation for forces due to a several point charges fr vector okay so please note this equation down very important based on this let us see one problem okay they would be giving these kind of problems as well okay so this is one problem here point charges of 50 into 10 power minus 9 coulomb each are located at a 1 comma 0 comma 0 b minus 1 0 0 c 0 1 0 d 0 minus 1 0 in free space okay find the total force on charge located at a okay they have specified that at point a we should be finding the total force on charge that is we should be drawing from point a so this is the point q a from this draw the three uh, point charges q b q c and q d uh, with respect to the question the value the value of q a is given by the coordinates 1 0 0 for q b it is minus 1 0 0 q c it is 0 1 0 q d it is 0 minus 1 0 the respective position vectors are also we could be writing it as vector r b a r c a and r d a all are combining together and meeting at this point q a because they have told us to find the total force on charge located at point a okay so whatever we have discussed now the equation that only we are going to check it out now okay so according to this uh, the first is between QA and QB the product of charge divided by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught because they mentioned in the question as free space so it is uh, QB QA divided by 4 pi epsilon naught magnitude of RBA whole square into unit vector RBA similarly for QA QC and QA QD okay these three are the set of equations just add them up here you could be seeing that QA divided by 4 pi epsilon naught is common in these three terms take it outside write the remaining terms okay so this is the simplified force equation so according in this data we have some uh, 
terms to be finding out that is you should be finding RBA, RCA, RDA and all the unit vectors. Okay. So one by one find all of them, substitute it and forget the answer for the force. Okay. First, RBA. RBA is given by RA minus RB, right? So we should be finding separately RA as well as RB. Okay. What is RA? R A is Q A, point is 1 0 0, so A X plus 0 A Y plus 0 A Z, so we are left with only A X and R B is the point Q B is minus 1 0 0, so that's why we are left with only minus A X, so R B A is R A minus R B that is A X in A X minus of minus A X that is A X plus A X to A X, then take the magnitude of R B A that is uh, the square, square root of 2 square square and root get cancelled we would be left with 2 so this is the magnitude of R B A now R B A is done similarly solve for R C A as well as R D A okay so now next is R C A okay R A minus R C we know that already R A is A X R C R C is given as Q C point that is 0 1 0 so here we have uh, 0 ax plus 1 ay plus 0 az so we are left with only ay and uh, ra minus rc that is ax minus ay so this is rca its magnitude that is 1 square minus of 1 square plus minus 1 the whole square that is 1 square is 1 minus 1 square is 1 so 1 plus 1 is root 2 okay so magnitude of rca is root 2 similarly find for rda as well okay rda is equal to ra minus rd ra is ax again rd here we have 0 minus 1 0 so that's why we are getting here minus a y so r a minus r d that is a x minus of minus a y that is a x plus a y okay so find the magnitude again that is 1 plus 1 square plus 1 square that is root 2 so r d a is also root 2 now we have found it just uh, substitute it in this force equation that is first is the two point charges uh, q a as well as QB okay first QA into QB right so this is QA and QB no 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 sorry in this equation uh, QA first substitute the value of QA as 50 into 10 power minus 9 we then we have divided by 4 pi epsilon naught right so that is given by 9 into 10 power 9 right then you write the remaining terms that is QA into the unit vector sorry the QB yeah, here the values of QA, QB, QC, QD are the same that is 50 into that is 50 nano coulomb. So that's why for all of this QB into the unit vector RBA that is uh, given by unit vector RBA is what it is the vector RBA divided by magnitude of uh, its vector that is 2AX divided by 2. So 2 2 gets cancelled here. So we are left with AX only then we have qc divided by the magnitude square so here we have 2 square that is 4 so here we have root 2 right so root 2 square gets cancelled and we would be remaining with 2 okay so 2 ones are 2 25s are and uh, the the value of uh, unit vector rca is ax minus ay that is here ax minus ay divided by root 2 okay so that only i have substituted it here plus qd again 15 to 10 power 9 divided by 2 since we had here uh, rd value as root 2 so root 2 square is 2 so 2 1s are 2 25s are again ax plus ay divided by root 2 okay just simplify it okay so here we have a uh, 10 power minus 9 and 10 power plus 9 that gets cancelled so 50 9s are 450 okay so 50 by 4 is 12.5 into 10 power 9 ax plus uh, then we have 25 divided by root 2 that is 17.67 into 10 power minus 9 ax minus ay Similarly, here also 25 by root 2 is 17.67 into 10 power minus 9 ax plus ay. Okay, do the multiplication. Do here the simplification. See what and all I've done here. So plus 17.67 into 10 power minus 9 and minus would be getting cancelled to each other a cap y vector. So we are left with 450 into 12.5 into 10 power minus 9 ax plus 35.34 into 10 power minus 9 ax. So add them. So here our final answer is in terms of this 10 to the power minus 9. After uh, simplifying, we would be getting around 21528 into 10 power minus 9 ax newton. So here what I have done is, I have taken 3 points uh, before. So this would be 10 power minus 6. So 10 power minus 6 is mentioned as micro. So the value of force is 
21.528 a cap x micro newton okay so hope it is clear so this is the value of force exerted on a single point charge due to the several point charges okay so in this way the problems would be getting asked very simple just you should be knowing the steps very carefully the formula you should be knowing very carefully some of the vector algebra rules that is to find the unit vectors magnitude and all if you know it easily you could be solving these kind of problems okay yeah so this was one problem so yeah that's all for this video guys so i had to say this much only in this video so in the next video we are going to start with the one more concept that is in the module one itself electric field intensity okay so again uh, we have one set of formula for that how we should be applying it what is the relationship between the force exerted from all the different directions uh, in a particular free space we are going to discuss it in this topic called as electric field intensity the intensity of electric field from all the uh, from all the directions of a point charge we are going to discuss it okay and we are going to get with one equation let us see that in the next video so that's all for this video guys we have uh, discussed in this video force exerted on a point charge due to several point charges okay so hope you hope this video is clear to you all i've solved one, i've uh, discussed one very important problem if you have listened to it you would be understanding it very easy problems guys you could be solving it very easily okay so again uh, previous to this video i've done one video where i've started with this electromagnetic theory first video that is based on coulomb's law force of attraction and few problems also we have discussed please those who have not seen that problems please go and watch it it is available in this playlist itself also uh, i have already uploaded module 2 3 4 5 5 all five modules of uh, this uh, subject electromagnetic theory uh, it is uh, available in the channel please go and watch it this module 1 videos i have reuploaded I, i had already uploaded it because uh, the quality of the video and uh, all uh, the video quality was not good also some of the explanations were pending so that's why i had removed those videos and i'm doing the fresh videos of module 1 only okay i had already uploaded it i've deleted it i'm and i'm again reuploading it okay some of the concepts i'm going to discuss it in brief so that's all guys so please support us like share subscribe to our channel comment down your precious opinions on what you think would be uh, useful to you guys in that way only we are going to provide the videos to you okay so please comment it without commenting you would not be able to know what are your suggestions so please comment it down so that's all guys thank you we'll see you in the next video